hello and welcome so I'm here out in the Peak District I'm here to camp for one night brought with me the one tigress tent wood burning stove I brought with me a hack RF SDR radio because I'm going to be doing some recording of some military signals using SDR angel so I'm hoping it, in this video is to show you how you can set up SDR Angel and just let it monitor a number of military frequencies and only capture, only record the audio as the signals break through the squelch. So we'll show you that later in the video. Also going to do some cooking as well. I'm going to be doing a, I'm going to be a Thai curry tonight. A bit tight at this time. Not these. It's very windy. Got this guy ropes up. Do you enjoy that? And just wanted to make contact over. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's always been a passion of mine. Uh, women. The setup is I've got the IC705 icon 705. I've got the Hack RF um, with an active antenna. I didn't have a proper mast for it, so I've just fastened it to a uh, relatively small mast, but it's there. Um, and I'm running the Dragon uh, operating system, Dragon Focal operating system, and I'll be using SDR Angel. Got a brew on, I'm going to finish setting up, and then I'm going to um, just set up SDR Angel to monitor. Um, one of the US Air Force frequencies and set it up so that it automatically records um, off that frequency when the transmission is made. Uh, so I'll walk you through that in a few minutes. Cup of tea first. Um, because I'm using the uh, EcoFlow power pack, I'm using the AC out of it. When I plug this into here, it's just, it's giving so much RF. So it's unplugged for the moment, but I need to I need to either just move that away from everything and run a longer cable uh, or gonna need some serious tidying up. So um I'll do a screen a couple of screen recordings of this uh, and I'll I'll just switch between this camera and a screen ca capture. So this is what here's one I set up earlier. So basically with SDR Angel, <clears throat> you can build up your, these are all modules, these are all plugins that you can actually create. Uh, let me turn this on, let me talk to you a minute. You can create uh, a whole a whole myriad of um, different setups, different stations, different tran transceiver type stations. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Everything from sort of a demodulators and um, the whole a whole shebangs in there so I'll just walk you through what how this is set up so I've got a um, this one here is where I actually pick the hack RF so this is actually connecting to the hack RF and then using this symbol here you can add in all sorts of different plugins um, so you can build up a system like this um, let's put the RF amp on. So basically, the this module here really picks up the what the receiver offers. So in this case, I've got bias T and I've got RF a hardware RF amp. Let's stick a DC on, um, and then let's just bring up some of this. Let's get a bit more signal, um, and this is where you change the frequency. I've stuck on a S, um, SS, SSB demodulator so I can just hear what's going on for the moment but you don't necessarily need that one uh, and I've got another module here called file sync and you get all of these from this sort of menu so you would pick file sync SSD modulator or if, you, if you're capturing um, narrow FM then you would check um, you could listen to it using a, a narrow FM demodulator so we have that on there uh, and and basically the way that I set this up is um, you would choose 
you would choose where, which folder you want the file saving in. You've got two types of files you can save. There's a SDR IQ file. You can capture really big heavy files with this so you've got to be really careful of how wide you go on the bandwidth or you can actually save it as a, a WAV file. Here you would set up uh, the a squelch, squelch record and you would set your level of your squelch record there so when it actually peaks above the squelch that turns green uh, that flashes there and then it starts to save to your drive then you can just keep you can just let that run that will just keep running while you can go and have a cup of tea and, and go out to the cinema or whatever you want go to bed come back in the morning and in your folder um, you you will hopefully wake up and you'll you'll have a bunch of it says you'll have a bunch of um, files in there all happy um, tuning with like a normal radio it's taken me quite a while to work out um, to make sure the the modulator isn't actually off tune as well. So we know it's all working. So we'll go back onto the military frequency and see if we can hopefully catch catch something on that. This is so difficult to get that in. Well, let's bring this. Get a sand pump. Get that down a bit. Right, let's, hopefully we're getting something now. Just try and get these settings so they're not over modulating. It's so difficult working with a mouse in a tent. Right, we'll let that record a bit. Tonight's tea is going to be a Thai chicken. So I've got some chicken paste, Thai paste, green Thai paste. Got some chicken, got some shallots. I'm going to chuck in some onions and coriander. I've got the cast iron is on here. And let me just close that down a second. The cast iron's on there, that'll start warming up. Takes ages to warm up, but once it gets hot, that stays hot, you can just chuck all your stuff in then. So, uh, that's that's tonight's tea. Just uh, getting them fried down. I've turned the eco flow off around that corner because I was charging loads of different devices and powering an extra light, but it was causing a, a real shocking RF mess across uh, the hack rf so i've i've tried to go for uh, i've tried to go for um sort of rf neutral trying to just trying to reduce as much rf of, i'm creating in here as i can the problem is though because i'm running cameras and charging the phone and lights so that's recording there Right, I'm still over modulating that is. Quick update on the food, I've just chucked in the coconut milk. I, I'm now going to heat all that through, stir that through, chuck in some fresh coriander. And then I'm going to chuck in some chunks of this sticky rib rice. Chuck some chunks of that in there, warm that up and then that's it, that'll be tea. So that's a, a, a Thai chicken curry. Right, I've got um, a couple of decent recordings there. I reckon those those three 
I reckon that one's a good one. And those two might be a little bit as well. This is interesting. It's, it's taken me a while to work this out. I think this is a an AM a radio station that has whether, it, whether it's propagation or not. Let me just take out the SSB and let me add. I don't know if you can see this from um, this camera. I'm going to add an AM demodulator. All right. Yeah, it's a um, it's an AM radio station, that is. Right. <coughs> so that's bed sorted. Uh, I've got uh, the Dutch um, army blanket, a jungle blanket to go on top. So I'm gonna put that that underneath and that on top. And got me little comfy pillow. <coughs> That's sorted for later. In SDR Angel, <clears throat> um, what you have to do is in this window here, you have to uh, <clears throat> name it and save it before you actually get a recording. Don't leave that blank. This top one here, uh, when I play this, this is the recording that's got the um, Transmission on it. So it is working. I'm going to run this for another hour. Let's see if we can get any more recordings. It's getting too windy. So I'm going to call it tonight. It's been it's been a challenge today. Uh, quite a number of things haven't worked out, but I've managed to be able to switch over using different antennas and, and whatnot. So I've got a few things to to solve, especially the RF issue. Having so much RF in here is just it made it more difficult tonight. So um, this is probably the first time I've tried SDR radio out, you know, in the middle of countryside so um yeah interesting but thanks for watching and i'll uh, see you in the next video bye bye for now